moving to 2.30 p.m. Central on Saturday, we have got the Independence Bowl. And UAB, it's the Radiance Technologies Independence Bowl, UAB and BYU. BYU currently a seven-point favorite. Bowl gifts on this one. Fossil Watch, a gift suite, of course. I told you I hate those. New Era Beanie and a commemorative football from wonderful Shreveport, Louisiana. <laughs> this game is, is a lot of fun to go to. It's a small stadium. It used to be SEC against Big 12, I think, for a while. And it's been SEC against whoever for a long, long time. It, it known more so in these parts as the Weed Whacker Bowl. Uh, but, of course, that has changed a little bit. It is the Independence Bowl. Uh, it's on ABC, BYU. It's kind of strange to see a team that is in the top 15 in this game. Last time we saw a top 15 ranked team was LSU, and I think they were playing Notre Dame uh, back in like 1997 or 1999 or somewhere along there. But um, but yeah, LSU played in it forever ago. They were the last top 15 team that was in this game. BYU, you would think, would be in a bigger bowl game. How much does that factor into this, right? What is the motivation? BYU looks like the bigger, stronger team, but UAB... Uh, BYU's defense is is pretty bad, and BYU's offense, uh, sorry, excuse me, UAB's offense is is surprisingly really, really good. Uh, since they switched over to quarterback Dylan Hopkins, they have been really fantastic. Their superstar running back may be out for this game. We're not sure yet. He He's dealing with an injury, so yay, nay, who knows? Uh, they haven't really said much about him. So uh, we'll see what happens there, but I think UAB is is going to fight in this one. And, and I don't know how much BYU really wants to be in this game. So I, I will take the team that it seems like it has a little more of that give a damn. So I'll, I'll go with UAB plus seven on this one. So you know how I don't ever, 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 ever like picking against or betting against my boy, right? Bill Clark. Yep. Yeah. I love, I love him. I love him so much. I look up to him. I admire him. I. But you also like Kalani Sataki. I think Kalani Sataki is one of the best coaches in the country. And I think this UAB team is real, real good. And if there's one team that's not coming to a bowl game to party, also, you know, you, you got to party in a little bit of a shady way to party in, in uh, Shreveport. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say Monroe. But in Shreveport. So this is, you know, I think, I think this is going to be a business trip for them. And, and they're going to have no problems with this game. I think they're just too big. They're too strong. They're, their offense is great. Their offense is not good. They're great. Their defense is great. I think UAB is – I love them. I think they're good. I, they're physically just not strong enough. They're just not big enough. Yeah, I, I had a feeling you might go that direction. Uh, we've only got a few I, more minutes. I don't, I'll tell you this. This is the one I don't like the most, and it's simply because I, I, I just – I just love, I love Bill, and I trust him. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. All right, so I'm riding UAB plus seven. You've got BYU minus seven. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.